Hey Topian beholders, hope you are doing good. So we are here to do make a detailed review on GoPro Hero 10. So which is actually buzzing. So let's see what all extra features that it has got. So you can see this is the GoPro Hero 10 and it has 23 MP camera uh, clarity and uh, it can shoot up to 5.3K in 60 FPS as well as 4K in 120 FPS. It has waterproof up to 33 feet or 10 meters and it also got a GP2 processor. We'll get into more details on this and uh, along with this we'll get a GoPro actual camera and a battery and these are accessories, a data cable and also the container. And yeah, uploads your footage to the cloud while charging. This is one of the extra feature that they have got. Okay, let's get into more. Uh, yeah, here you can see a yeah, 23 MP camera, 5.3 uh, K in 60 FPS and 4K in 120 FPS and 2.7K in 240 FPS and also 33 feet water proof and voice control. Oh, that's nice. And 8x slow motion and uh, data overlays, time wrap and 180p live streaming. That is great and uh, super photo plus hdr raw photos that's nice this is actually a great feature like uploads automatically to the cloud whenever you put it to charge and they also got webcam mode and mod ready let's see and uh, most importantly stabilization it got it has got hyper smooth 4.0 okay let's open this and see Wow, this is nice. They have given a very good covering. Whatever the covering they have given, it's very nice. You can see here. It's very hard material and uh, outside it's cloth stitched. And they also got this branding, GoPro. This is cool, isn't it? Nice. Let's open this. Okay, wow, very neatly arranged, you can see the camera, this is a charger, battery, accessories and we have also got an extra battery and also a memory card and also some documents. Let's go by it one by one, so first let me just remove this memory card, this I had got it in a combo so I got, I just got it as a free one. And this is the battery. I think this is compatible to both GoPro Hero 9 and as well as Hero 10. This is an extra battery that they have got. And yeah, this is the battery that yeah, this is the battery that comes as part of the GoPro itself. And this is the charger. So you can see. You can plug in two charges here, like two batteries here to charge. And also these are the accessories. This is the clip. And you can attach this like this. I, most of you would have already used this. And this is the one to tighten this, like this. Okay, and we have now let's come to the actual thing the camera this is very nice actually the build quality is very very great and it's very solid too and weight is also pretty good and you can see here right so here you can see this is the covering of the camera and this is a short display and the name branding name is gopro here and it's mentioned as 10 black this is the power mode and what is this let's come back and this is the display and the display is very good actually when you compare with gopro hero 9 this is a bit bigger and it's very cool actually and yeah i think this is the shutter like in order to uh, switch on the video or off the video and here you have the clamps to attach it here
GoPro and that is the clamp it's not this is actually very good it's directly attached to GoPro and yeah we have all this and uh, let's see where are we supposed to put our batteries yeah so we got this and this is where we'll have to insert our batteries like this yeah so battery is inserted and uh, I think battery is not switched on okay yeah so GoPro nice English oh nice is it a screen Agree to terms, yes, agree. GPS on for now. Let me switch it off. Let's get back. Skip setup. I'll for now skip setup. Okay, let's get into the product details. So, this has the all new GP2 processor, makes this the most powerful GoPro ever. Because it has a GP2 processor, it's very great, and uh, the processing speed would be really awesome. And it also got Unreal 5.3K 60fps plus 4K 120fps video resolution plus 23 megapixel photos. And it also got advanced hyper smooth 4.0 video stabilization. This is something which has to be very appreciable and considerable. So video stabilization is what we actually aim for. And that is being given in this GoPro Hero 10. And waterproof up to 33 feet plus built tough. The Build quality is very great that and you can see right whenever I'm holding it in my hand I can feel it it's very great and automatically upload the footage to the cloud when charging so whenever you charge your GoPro whatever the footage that you have collected till then it will be directly uploaded to the cloud if you have GoPro subscription so that's really great right and uh, time coming to time warp it has 8x slow motion plus tons of other features to nail any shot and uh, it's compatible with QCAP. So you can download QCAP, here you can see, right? QCAP, you can download from App Store as well as in Google Play. And uh, you can just go ahead with all the uh, other settings. And uh, it's compatible with over 30 mounts plus accessories, which this is which we already know. It is very compatible with all the different accessories and mounts that you can plug into your helmets and bikes and whatnot. And when it when you want to compare this with Hero 9, right? So what is the major difference that you get between these two is that one is the, the first most important thing is the processor. This has a very new processor that is first in five years. That is GP2 processor and uh, this is lacking in GoPro Hero 9. And also it claims for low light video, which is again lacking in Hero 9. So it gives better performance in case of low light and also hyper smooth 4.0 as i told video stabilization is of utmost important and it has 4.0 hyper smooth and it also has improved lens gopro has improved the kind of lens glass used for greater scratch resistance so and it also has removable outer lens housing but you will li less likely like to <coughs> replace this this is actually removable you can actually replace this but it's very unlikely because it has a scratch proof resistant and also 60 fps capture at 5.3k resolution i don't think any other camera gives this kind of resolution as of now yeah so this is all about uh, gopro hero 10 and uh, i'll make a detailed video on the performance sometime later and hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was pretty useful so i'll make a detailed video on the performance and the video quality hope you guys liked it 